So last night, there was a primary election in Florida where a uh, Sanders-backed progressive candidate beat his establishment opponent in a primary. Uh, now, this is uh, Andrew Gillum, uh, and Gillum was massively outspent by two of his opponents, but nonetheless won on a platform of Medicare for All, Living Wage, and Free College. So that's a very, uh, the very progressive platform. Uh, now, there are a lot of people, a lot of pundits that were saying, oh, man, Gillum, he's too progressive. Uh, he's, but that's never going to play in the South. That's never going to play in Florida. That is a purple state. We're going to have to go to the center. We're going to have to run to the center in order to um, win against who is uh, now the uh, Republican candidate that's going to be running for the Republican Party. Um, now, that person, of course, is Ron DeSantis. Now, Ron DeSantis is a big Trump guy, okay? So now, uh, Andrew Gillum won his primary uh, and might actually become Florida's first black progressive governor. That is awesome. Now, DeSantis, again, Trump guy, right? So this is really the first contest that you're going to see where you have a Bernie back candidate versus a Trump back candidate. So it you're gonna you're kind of gonna get to see how Trumpism plays out against Bernieism. So this is gonna be a very important race coming up. Now DeSantis, if you can remember, he released a, a bizarre ad that taught uh, that featured him teaching his young daughter to build the wall. So that that just shows you right, uh, and and to show you the level of Trump support. Uh, or support that he has from Donald Trump. I'm going to give you a tweet here. He said, uh, not only did Congressman Ron DeSantis easily win in the Republican primary, but his opponent in November is his biggest dream, a failed socialist mayor named Andrew Gillum, who has allowed crime and many other problems to flourish in his city. This is not what Florida wants or needs. So that's Donald Trump, right? Now, DeSantis, as I said, echoed the president, uh, but also said something that's gotten him into a little bit of hot water. We're going to go to that right now. Well, look, I mean, this is a, Florida elections are always competitive. And, um, you know, this is a guy who, although he's much too, too liberal for Florida, I think he's got huge problems with how he's governed Tallahassee. Uh, you know, he is an articulate spokesman for those far left views, and he's a charismatic candidate. And, you know, I watched those Democrat debates. None of that was, was my cup of tea. But, I mean, he performed better than the other people there. So, so we've got to work hard to make sure that we continue Florida going in a good direction. Let's build off the success we've had on Governor Scott. The the last thing we need to do is to monkey this up by trying to embrace a socialist agenda with huge tax increases and bankrupting the state. That is not going to work. That's not going to be good for Florida. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Hey, man, the last thing we need to do is end to monkey this one up. Hey, voters, don't monkey it up. Now you could say, come on, dude, look. Th that's just a saying, okay? It's a saying. It's It's been around forever. I've heard it when I was younger. Uh, so, look, I, I, it's not racist, guys. You guys are just stretching, you libtards. We used to say this in the 50s and 60s, right? I've seen that argument. Well, for one, it's not the 50s and 60s anymore, right? And back in those times, racist things were more widely accepted. But really, what seals this as, in my opinion, racist, is what he was saying before. Oh, no, he's very articulate. He speaks very well. Uh, why bring that up? Is there any reason that he wouldn't speak well? Okay, look, uh, we do have a president that speaks at a fourth grade level. But nobody brings up when he says something or when, you know, a white person speaks really well, speaks eloquently. Nobody seems to bring that up. But when, when it comes to a, uh, an African-American, well, suddenly... Oh no, he's very articulate. I listen to his debates and he he's he's very he's very he's good at he's good at talking. Why bring that up? Why bring that up? <laughs> I, to me that's a an incredibly huge dog whistle. Both of those things are obviously saying, "Well, don't monkey it up by voting for the black guy." And then says, "Oh, but, but, but he's a socialist, so, you know, we don't we don't need socialism here in Florida." But no, dude, uh, here's the thing. Uh, okay, historically speaking, saying that a black person is articulate reinforces a stereotype. The stereotype that 
black people are less competent than whites. So, you know, when you have an articulate black person, well, he stands out. He stands out. He's the one that gets noticed. Oh, no, he's one of the smart ones. Unlike the rest of those people, he can speak well. He can sit at the table. In fact, I want to quote here, uh, uh, do a quote here from A. Gordon, right? Now, uh, he wrote back in 2014 in The Root, uh, which gives you a little bit of context. He said, when we register surprise at a black individual's articulateness, uh, articulateness, sorry, I, I need to be a little bit more articulate. Uh, we also send the not so subtle message that the person is part of a group that we don't expect to see sitting at the table taking on a leadership role. And Gillum has taken on a leadership role. He's mayor of Tallahassee. And now he's he could be the first black governor of Florida. Okay. So if you understand that context, which I'm assuming DeSantis does because he's not a dumb person, combined with that statement, don't monkey it up, guys, about a black candidate, it's not hard to come to the conclusion that DeSantis is a little bit racist. <laughs> So, uh, look, some people could argue, oh, no, it's, but no, he's, he's not a racist. Look, he's not a racist, guys. I mean, maybe he's unintentionally racist to be, like, super, super fair. But I don't think that's, I don't think that's the case. Uh, look, this was so much of a dog whistle, even Fox News had to call it out. Watch. A little while ago, we had Ron DeSantis, the Republican nominee for governor in Florida, on for an interview to discuss the Florida election. During the interview, he made what some are calling an inappropriate comment about his Democratic opponent, Andrew Gillum. DeSantis has since clarified his comment in a statement saying, quote, Ron DeSantis was obviously talking about Florida not making the, the wrong decision to embrace the socialist policies that Andrew Gillum espouses. To characterize it, as anything else is absurd. Florida's economy has been on the move for the last eight years, and the last thing we need is a far-left Democrat trying to stop our success. We do not condone this language and wanted to make our viewers aware that he has since clarified his statement. Oh, no, so we, we don't condone that language, but don't worry, DeSantis clarified. Oh, no, me, racist? That's absurd. I just gave you a gigantic dog whistle Two of them uh, saying that, oh, no, he's an articulate black. Uh, and, hey, Florida voters, don't don't monkey it up by voting for this guy. Two big wh dog whistles. But, no, I'm going to clarify. That's absurd. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, man, he's definitely reinforcing stereotypes. Um, and, and, look, here's the thing. Even with his so-called clarification... And say, no, no, I didn't, no, I, me, racist, what are you talking about? No, of course not. I, that's absurd. It's a non-pology, and more importantly, to his voters, the message has already been delivered. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYTNation.